everyone, and welcome to episode 14 of My Mom Sandy. We are your hosts. I am Josh Fasson, and the woman next to me wants to suck your blood. It's My Mom Sandy. Not really. I mean, I am my mom, Sandy. I mean, I'm his mom, Sandy. But I don't really want to suck anybody's blood. That's I, gross. I tell you, I love this time of year. I know. You've always gotten so into the Halloween thing, the haunted house thing. I don't know why. I think it's just stupid. We are literally two days away from Halloween. Literally. We're recording this uh, later, late on a Tuesday. Kind of what we normally... Yes, because yesterday was a shit day. You had a shit day yesterday. Everything that could possibly go wrong went, went wrong. wrong. Uh, anyway, you were full of vulgar language yesterday. It's full of piss and vinegar. <laughs> All filled up with some of that piss. Where uh, was the vinegar kept? I don't know. I was ready to boil over any second. I I felt that. I got mad at my cats. I got mad at you. I got mad at other things. And then you look at it a day later, and you go, "God, I was just acting so silly." No, I don't. Hmm. I'm still carrying some of that anger with me. Not good. No. Not good. So we are two days away from Halloween, and I thought that it would be really fun to kind of talk about all things Halloween. Um, maybe what you remember from Halloween, what's going on now in Halloween, what I remember from Halloween, celebrating Halloween, the last time you dressed up, the last scary movie you saw, all that great stuff. Can't remember, can't remember. That's, nothing. That solves that, pro- that solves that problem. <laughs> well, we've taken care of those issues. So what else? Well, look, so I remember. All things Halloween. I remember. Um, first off, do you have any housekeeping? Do you have anything that you want to talk about? Uh, housekeeping. Yes, I'd like to shout out to, give a shout out to uh, Peter and Caitlin because now, because they went to South Africa. Now you want to go to South Africa? No. Oh, I just like that our that our little podcast map shows Somebody that we have a listener in South, South Africa. Africa. So that's kind of cool. Um, so now it's well. Last time I checked, it was Australia. So I don't know who is in Australia. That's weird. And Indonesia. The person in Australia, you should like send us a, a, a email or something. Are they still currently listening? Well, they have to be. Well, I don't know. They may not be. But it's thirty days. <laughs> Yeah, somebody, we still have Canadian listeners, so I don't know, you know, unless Peter and Caitlin go every month. (laughs) Caitlin does travel a lot. Oh, so we saw Peter actually yesterday, and Peter said he was going to bring you some ketchup potato chips. Yes, but I have to wait for them. How goddamn excited are you for those? I am, but I... You don't want to wait? No, I mean, because I don't know, we don't really have our plans yet for our future podcast schedule, so... There are some plans that are being put in place. You're but just... he but he wants to be on the podcast and <clears throat> excuse me there. Oh. See, I told you. Uh didn't even take ten minutes. Um he wants to be on the podcast and we've invited him. Shall I give it away or not? We've invited him and his mother that's right. to come on. Um and But that's... we're not really sure when and so that's the that's my issue with the uh, with the chips. It's like you, know, you want them now. Yeah, it's like if, don't we don't, if we don't have a bud for a couple months, then those chips are going to get that expiration date. I'm sure Canada puts one on there. Will be like you know. Yeah, I feel like we. Uh, I spoke with him yesterday about some uh, some dates, some possible dates. Uh, so, and, but then you know, it's it, yeah. I don't want to give too much away, but it'll okay. be it'll be a good one. So Halloween. Yeah, let's not talk about it now. Let's exactly. talk about it later on the podcast. So when was the last time you dressed up for Halloween? Um, I don't know. I don't remember. What was your last costume? Don't in- remember. These are stupid questions for me because of my age. Seriously, forty nine. Yes, it's yes. been a long time since I've. I didn't dress up when I took you guys out. So. Yeah, you and Dad weren't really quite the dress your up. Your father, parents. your father was. He dressed up. Yeah, he he worked at a company once, and they all dressed up for Halloween. One year, he went as a card. A card. Yeah. Like a greeting card, or like no, a no, business no. card. Like, no, like a, a playing oh, like a playing card. card. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if he was like. I don't know. The Ace of Spades. The I'm not of, sure what it, what, what he was, but I remember he. I'm pretty sure if my memory serves me right, I could be wrong, but he had like the little cap skull on, to, you know, skull cap. 
Whatever. <laughs> coal scap. Skull. Skull. What coal, was that? Coal scap. A what? what? A coal scap. A coal scap. <laughs> That's right. That's weird. It's a special language <laughs> for the elderly and infirmed. Tell me more. It's called Alzheimer's. Mm. Hum, hum, heimers. <laughs> See? You know, I used to think Alzheimer's was called, uh, I literally, old a, timers. I it was, thought it was called old timers. There are people who say it that way. Yeah. It's like, are you, are you kidding me? Or, I don't know. It's I like, mean, oh, it's they have not a bad case of old timers. I know, but it's not a real, um, I mean, I guess it could be a kind of comical and jokey if the person really doesn't have it. But if a person really has it and you're discussing it. Oh, old, I just thought it made way timers. more. Yeah, I just thought it made way more sense that old people got old I timers. I guess, but and, there are, but there are some. There is early mm-hmm. onset old timers. Some kids have it. As a matter of fact, I watched a show about it. About old timers. About childhood Alzheimer's. Oh, got it. Got it. Yeah, and it's a genetic thing, and it's very interesting. So, anyway. so do you remember um, when I was a kid? I dressed up. I I, th- I felt like as a kid, I my Halloween game was like pretty strong. Yeah, I'm trying to think of some of your costumes. Well, the devil is the one that comes so, to yeah, mind. So that's what I was going to say. Right was, away. <clears throat> so we tell it, should was, we say why? <laughs> yeah, so one year I dressed up as a devil, and I had the uh, the coal scap with the <laughs> horns, <laughs> right? Go. The coal scap. And, um, and I think I had like red pajamas on, and then I had this pitchfork, and it was like, I think it was like a plastic pitchfork or whatever, mm-hmm. but we went up to your parents' house for some reason. Well, because at the time you used to go up there and stay with my mother. For a few hours. And your father. Yeah, while I worked. So that's and probably what I was up worked. there. Yeah, so we kind of had a schedule where, I'm trying to think, he would take you in the morning and I would pick you up or something. So, of I course, I needed the devil costume to go with me. <clears throat> well, because every kid, and, and I'm trying to think of maybe how old you were. I don't think Sam was born. So you were like no, three no, no, no. or I, four. I think I was, I think I was older. Seven to ten. So maybe. Sam was there. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe not. But I don't. Well, I don't know. I just. I remember. I mean, the age doesn't really make a difference. But I remember uh, coming home, and uh, the pitchfork was in a bag, and there was oh, something else. Oh yeah, we else. had this little uh, thing. It was called like a tyke hike or something, and it was like a little, a kind of a little a mesh um, backpack on a frame with wheels. So you could kind of push it. And we used to pack your stuff in there, like your toys and stuff that you wanted to take to my So mom's. it was like my carry-on. Yeah. I had like my carry-on. carry-on. Yeah. Exactly. There you go. This carry-on had all your special things yeah. in there. So I was going in there to get something out, and I the, I maybe just didn't notice the giant pitchfork that was sticking out of it. <laughs> and the pitchfork literally went right into my eye. Oh, God. It almost poked my eye out. Yes. It was horrible. That was a nice... I think that was after, actually after Halloween. So then we had to go to the doctors. And you went to the emergency room. I had to go to the emergency the doctors. room. Did you, think, did you think I was going to lose my eye? Uh, no, I thought, what the fuck are you doing? You've had, you had a lot of those moments when I was a kid, huh? Well, because here's the thing is that, you know, a lot of times you plan your life in such a way that you don't plan for stuff like that to happen. Number one, you know, could have been really dangerous in the long run for you. And number two, you know, now I got to take you to the the fucking emergency room. I mean, there's nothing better than sitting in an emergency room, especially with a child whose eye is hurting him. I mean, how much more fun could that be? What did it look like? I mean, was it irritated? I don't remember, to be honest. I don't even know what they did. Did they put a patch on it? They put it? a patch, yeah. yeah. And then I think... Now I, you are a pirate. A pirate yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hoy, baby. I had a, uh, I had a pirate's pat on. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Instead of a coal scap. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I remember that. I remember dressing up as like a, as like a hobo one year. I was a hobo. I had like a hobo mask that we got at Target. Yeah. More recently, I, I went as a hot dog one year. I have a hot dog costume that was really great. Uh, I was, I was a, a panda. Um, which I think was like a little foreshadowing for like the hockey team. You know, it's kind of weird, right? What is it? What are they called? Thra- the Trash Pandas. Trash Pandas. The Thrash Pandas are a cooler team. <laughs> they're, 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 but they, they, they play much better hockey they, than you guys do. They're a little dirtier team. Are yeah. they? Uh, um, <laughs> thrash. The th- uh. Yeah, they thrash it out. Um, but I, you know, I used to remember, oh, and then I remember one year going trick or treating, uh, with a, with a friend of mine. And God, I used to, I mean, there was nothing better, like the rush of coming home 
with the pillowcase full of candy, dumping it out on the floor and like organizing, figuring out what candy am I going to eat first? You what know, do I not really want? What do I not want? What could be poisonous? Because that was always a thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, right? God, I mean, yeah. You were, you were very, you know, and I remember going to you and being like, Mom, is this okay to eat? You're like, yeah, let's throw that into trash. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anything that's like partially wrapped. Yeah. Partially unwrapped. Not wrapped at all. Which, by the way, I mean, let's. What a, apples. What a, <laughs> no, I don't think I got many apples, but like. No, but they, and when I was growing up, they used to put apples and razor, uh, razor blades, apples and razor blades. I you're you're all doing it all around, over huh? today. See, it's that all, that old timer. So they would take small apples and put them in giant razor blades and then they would. Or they take small razor blades and put them in the giant, giant apples. apples. Um, so you had to be careful, you know, because apples were kind of a good treat for. Well, they were the only healthy thing out there. I would 100%. Like, if I went to a house and got an apple, I would, like, literally just, like, and they closed the door, I would just, like, leave it on the on the porch, you know? Uh, we used to have a thing. And now, see, now I'm remembering my childhood. It's all coming back now. Well, I just remember that they, I don't remember, like, what I ever dressed up to be, to be honest. But, um, but I remember back in Pennsylvania, there's, like, Hell Night. Do you know anything about that? I mean... That sounds incredible. I think it's the night before Halloween. Well, we have a show on Hell Night. And you were, it was the night where people really go out and, and do mischievous things like, like soap your car windows and egg your house. And Fill the gas tank up toilet with, paper with sugar. Your, yeah, no, we never, we never would. I think that break, like literally breaks the car. It does, yeah. but we would never have done that. Pop um, your tires? No, it was, it wasn't, I mean, the, the most, I mean, I don't know. Maybe there, I mean, sure, there was people out there doing that Put kind of a, stuff. Put a bag of dog duty on the, on the that porch. That possibly. And light it on fire. That possibly could have been done, yeah. Um, you know, just ring doorbells and run, you know, stuff like that. Dangerous hell. Yeah. And as a young child, I remember, you know, I remember we had neighbors that would say, all right, if you want a treat, you have to do a trick. So I'd like you, do, do a somersault. <laughs> that oh, was my trick. That. No, yeah. no. Hey, at, you know, at four years old, five years old, that's not, it's not a bad thing. What kind of trick am I going to do? Yeah, but I just, I mean, that's, so you, you had to get down on the ground and somersault and like the dirt. I know, or, like, with the, with the things we did for a piece of candy yeah, back in the day. Yeah, fuck that. Well, my mother didn't have a lot of candy at the house that I remember. I remember what I was going to say was I remember going out with this, with a friend of mine and we, and this was like when rollerblading was really hip. And we thought we could cover so much more ground with rollerblades. Oh, yeah, easy. So I think we were like roller hockey players for Halloween. Yeah. And I remember, you know, going, you know, up and down, you know, around around this area, you know. And I remember um, these older kids, like, seeing us. Yeah. And they said, get them! And, and they were going to steal our candy. And we and we like we took off on our rollerblades, and I've never skated as fast in my Good life. Good thing you had rollerblades. I know they would have killed us. We wow. would have had to have gone to the emergency. I didn't know room. that. Why yeah. Didn't, why didn't you tell me that? Though? Well, I mean, I think like you know, I think we got away, and I think my fear of telling you was that you were never going to let me go trick or treating ever again. So. Well, you must have been old if you had rollerblades. Yeah, I was probably. This had to have been twelve. Yeah, like. Sixth to sixth to seventh grade, fifth yeah, is. Yeah, it's uh, kind of almost getting a little too old to trick or treat. Is it though? Yeah. When did do you? Remember? I know somebody asked me, "Do we ever have kids here?" I mean, I'm going to tell you, I I don't think we've had. I don't think we've had maybe maybe one kid per year since we've lived here, and I maybe did, not. I don't think no. I don't think anyone came last year. I had a dream the other night that we that you weren't here. And we didn't have any candy, and it was like Halloween, and all these kids were like knocking on our door. Pennies, baby, pennies. And I was like, we don't have any candy. I'm sorry. And I was like, I was panicked in the in my dream. And then they, uh, I remember in the morning, I went out and they had like egged and like pissed and like drew on my car, and like I just I had like I don't a know heart why your, I don't know why your car wasn't in the garage. I know, to be honest, yeah, that's but, the dream. That's the yeah, dream. interesting, interesting. So so you Such don't a nightmare. So you don't remember any costumes that you wore. No, well, back in the day, we had the um, those plastic mask type things. You those know, are those. scary. No, I mean, you know, like Cinderella face, oh. you know, or Snow White face, you know. Did you ever go as Cinderella I don't know, face? probably, probably. I mean, I was kind of a girly girl, I, you know. Um, Did you guys ever do Halloween parties, like when you were in like high school and stuff? 
when you're in your bad phase, when you're being a bad girl? You dress up as a, uh, as a naughty Cinderella? No, I never dressed naughty up Snow as White. a naughty Cinderella. I don't know. Naughty mechanic? I, I think, you know, I naughty think. Naughty mother? <sighs> Jesus, stop. I think that, um,. What you don't see here is that behind the scenes, Josh is like silently laughing every time he, 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 he pokes the bear, no, so not to at speak. All. Naughty garage door. Uh, see, there you go. See, uh, okay. Laugh, smile. Naughty, naughty laugh. chair. <laughs> naughty, <laughs> naughty lamp shade. Okay. Shut up. Um, what was your question? The last time, oh, Halloween parties when you were yeah, I when I you don't were a bad, I don't really being a bad girl. I don't really remember. I don't really remember Halloween parties, so to speak. Um, matter of fact, I you know I don't I don't really know what we did because I you know at some point you get too old. I think like after seventh grade you get too old to trick or treat, and like nowadays kids just go to the malls. So you know. <clears throat> That's a nice. Not, safe I mean, place. not a lot of kids actually. I mean, especially down in like. Or older kids will go in the neighborhoods, but the young kids go to the malls. Yeah, um, well, in Manhattan Beach, they do like a lot of like the walk streets are like real big because it's. Oh yeah, it's you know, easy. You can there's hit. no streets really, yeah. so it's just you know up and down. Um, I remember being eighth grade, ninth grade, maybe. And I remember going to, and yeah, and I realized at this point that I was probably a little old to go trick or treating. And I remember going to Blockbuster Video, and I rented like Nightmare on Elm Street because I was like, I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to like start getting into the the spooky, the spooky stuff. movies. Yeah. And I watched it, I think on on Halloween, and I was just like, oh my god, this is. And then that was like the love of horror movies, like started at, at then, you know. And I was like, this is fantastic. I know, you really are weird with that horror movie thing. I just, I loved him. I thought it was like such a rush. Did you ever, you never really got into horror movies? No. Do you remember like the last like scary movie that you saw? Cinderella? Um. Well, you know, I saw all those ones when, you know, I, I don't, I haven't seen recent, I mean, all the old movies, Poltergeist and... Oh, give us, can you give us the poltergeist, the, the... Go to the light, go to the light. It's good. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. almost kind of like a naughty, a laugh. naughty witch of the West. That's right. There at the end. So, but do you, can you recall like the actual last scary movie that you saw? Um, you know, I did go see that movie where the, um, I can't remember the name of it, where the girl with... Where they're like trapped in that house with the blind guy. Oh, um, light and light, not lights out. Don't something like that. Don't, don't speak. Don't speak. I think that was a no doubt song. Actually, <laughs> I don't think that was a horror movie. Don't speak. Don't um, don't breathe. Was it? I think it's don't breathe. Let's let's go let's to the let's go to the Google it. for that. Let's Google <laughs> that, shall we? I think it's don't breathe. Um, what do you, th- you think of it? You know what? It was. I don't think it was that scary. And the thing that I think don't breathe. Good call. I yeah. think 2016 American See, Horror Thriller film. My my all timers. <laughs> Directed by Fed Fede Fede Alvarez. Yeah. No relation. One shot. One. One shot. What? One hit wonder. No, they haven't. They have a. They have a sequel coming out. Yeah, I um, I don't think I thought it was that scary. To be honest, I I find myself looking at discrepancies in the filming um like there was <laughs> there's one time where they show the dog in the movie and he's not on a leash he's like roaming free and then the next time when he's chasing the, the kids he stops at the very end because he's on a leash i mean he's on you know a chain so he's it's like, chained up yeah so do it's you like, find so do, it's like what come on do you find yourself doing do you do that with just Scary movies, or do you find yourself doing that with all I movies think in I, general? I think I find myself doing that. Well, I don't. First of all, I don't usually watch very many movies. I'm not a movie person. Mm. TV. I well, I just don't. Yeah, I probably shouldn't get into it, but I don't support the movie industry. Oh boy. Yeah. So we won't say anything more than that. But fuck those it's, guys. It's my huh? it's my personal boycott. Okay. Interesting. Yes. Um, if you have principles and you. Have standards and, you know, even if you're only the person, the one person that protests, you know, 
you still protest. It's a matter of um, sometimes in- integrity. Integrity. Sometimes you have to stand alone. Exactly. You have no one to stand with you. Exactly. That's the way I feel. You're standing alone. <clears throat> I'm standing alone. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, so I don't watch recent movies. That that was really the last movie that I saw. I was um, dark. That got kind of dark at the end. Yeah, it was very dark. I can't remember how it ended, to be honest. He was like, spoilers. Dragging the girl through the street. Oh, I no, he was trying to like impregnate like... It's like that whole like downstairs like sex thing. I know, or something. but she got away. Yeah, she got oh, away. Oh, and then he did he keep her? No, she got away. Well, there was another girl originally when oh, that girl yes. came to the house. There was another. No, girl No, I there. think everybody got away, or maybe one of the girls got killed. But um, no, the guys, the two guys got killed. But it it ended. I think it. I felt like it ended on like a cliffhanger kind of thing, and it was like, oh, they're gonna do another one, you know. But when but when the movie starts, he's dragging the girl up the street by the hair, and she looks like she's dead. The blind guy. Yeah. When the movie starts. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember that. And it, and then it kind of and then it seems like it goes backwards and tells the story of why that's occurring. Maybe. Seems to me it's, that that shows up at the end of the movie as well. Possible. It's been a long time since I've seen it. <laughs> I, I do remember. I I can tell you. I remember a. Um, we should. We should. Google a spoiler spoilers spoiler endings. We want to know how "Don't Breathe" ended, please. Oh, you can just Google Google a "Don't Breathe" ending, and it'll come right up. All right, there you I go. remember watching this movie one Halloween. It was like I think it was on Netflix. So Netflix is like notorious for having like not good horror movies. Yeah, right. I mean, some of the stuffs actually it's getting better, but you know, back when like Netflix first kind of popped up, it was like a lot of garbage movies. But I remember um, watching this movie. And it was based on a true story, and it was and it was fucking oh my god, it was so bad, it was so so bad. But it was about like these girls, these sisters, that go and like live with their fucking like sadistic aunt or something, and the aunt decides to like torture one of the girls, and like has like the neighborhood boys come over and like let them like rape her and like burn shit into her, and like the girl like ends up dying in this fucking basement. <clears throat> the whole family like ends up going to what jail. Was this? What movie was <clears throat> this? It was called The Girl Jack Ketchum's The Girl Next Door, and it was based off this like a true th- a true story. true story of like I mean this shit actually yeah, happened somewhere gross. in like the Midwest growing up. I where, can't like, see. I can't watch. That's why you know we. Oh, we're... I didn't like it. I mean, I got I was like getting halfway through, but like I couldn't find the remote or something. Like it was like I was, I think I was like dating like an ex girlfriend at the time and. Dating, dating an ex girlfriend at the time. I was dating a girl. I had a girlfriend who is now, now an ex girlfriend. Thank you. And she was like, "Oh, let's watch this like scary movie." And she passed out in, like the first ten minutes. And I was and like, left you with this gory. I was gruesome. like, "This is fucking horrible." Yeah, horrible. Yeah, I can't watch. Like, that I like minute. spooky stuff. Yeah, but I don't want to watch like torture. I like psychological thrillers. Seven. I never saw it. You never saw Seven with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. Nope, I did not. The Usual Suspects. Don't know what that was about either. Oh my God. So okay, so what's okay? Like? So here, so the, what's, here's, a, what's a great psychological thriller that you? Well, here's one that I just saw yesterday that I love, 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 and I recommend to anybody to watch. But it's the original, The Bad Seed. That's I what know. I came up seriously. I thought you were watching Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street or something. <laughs> I know it looks like that. Huh? It's old. I was like, what the uh, fuck the, is she watching? Because Susan told me that the remake they remade it, and it's Rob Lowe. And the father is the father, and he kind of plays the part that the mother plays in the original movie. And I don't, I don't really know. I again, I don't, I don't see that many remakes of movies that are better than the originals. I mean, if the original was so good that you had to remake it, you better fucking do a great job. And most cases, I don't think it's done. Evil Dead remake, it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think you've mentioned that yeah. before. I don't know the remake or the original. Did you ever see? There was um, there was a really good film. It was uh, the Blue Submarine. It was the shoulders. They did a uh, thing on their I album. Knew, the I, Blue you know, I, just, I had a funny feeling when you said that that we were going getting back to the shoulders. Yeah, no, don't know the shoulders. Never knew the shoulders. But it was a, it was a. Don't psych- care about the shoulders. But it was a musical. Don't know why you keep talking about the shoulders. It was a musical. That had a psychological thriller twist to it about their, they traveled around in a blue submarine. They all lived in a blue submarine. Yeah. The okay. shoulders. Okay. Um, yeah, there was that movie where that guy, I, well, I don't know. A- anyway, I can't really speak of. Do you remember the Garfield's, uh, Halloween special? Um, yeah, vaguely. That was fucking great. I still like, will like look it up on YouTube and try to find it. Don't they have a Charlie Brown one too? 
uh, the great pumpkin. The great yeah. year. I think Charlie Brown yeah. turns into a pumpkin or something. I don't that, know. I didn't I, really care for that, but I think Halloween's a crazy, stupid. Um, I think it's so fun. I mean, I just I think for me, I like the fall. Like I like when the weather did you, changes. Did you hear about that haunted house? Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. Go ahead. Yes, there's a haunted house. I don't know where it is, but it's <laughs> like super scary. You have to have like a doctor's release, and there's like a forty page disclaimer that you have to read. And sign, and you have to have a psychological eval. So, uh, a psych, a psych eval. Uh huh. And yeah. they, and they, and they pay you like 20 grand if you make it through, but most people don't. So I looked up, so it's funny. So I was going to, I was going to talk about that. <clears throat> so there's this thing called the McCainy Manor. And, uh, the McCainy and, Manor. And it's, it's this guy, this like ex military guy or whatever. And it's, it could be the same thing that you're talking about, but he created this like haunted house thing. I think it's down in San Diego somewhere, but you had to sign this like waiver basically saying that like they're free of any sort of whatever, right? Psychological issues. Right. And uh, no, no, that they can like, cause basically the waiver oh, is saying. Oh, and health issues is, like heart attacks and. Are you going to play a game while we're, while we're doing our no, podcast? No, I'm just going to collect my free credits. <laughs> oh, right. Got it. Um, so they, uh, you really threw me for. I was just like, "Oh, this is well, just that, not important to you." Well, the, well, she's looking. She's playing her her. She has a slot machine game on her iPhone that she literally just as I started telling this story, she opened up as if this is just not really important. No, I'm li- I'm totally listening. So anyway, so I, they, I'm wondering if it's the same one. I'm it could be. Of. So there's this thing. It's the McCamey Manor, or now they have like a different one. But they kidnap you. You like show up in a parking lot and they kidnap oh, no. you. They like bag your head. No. Put you in the back of like a, a van. Yeah, you know what? Drive you to a, no, so listen, so they drive you to this thing. Cause I looked up with some people from work. We looked up videos on this. They drive you to like a location, right? And then they, they put you in like a room. And then like you had to like write down shit like ahead of time. So like, oh, like, oh, I have a phobia of spiders. They'll like literally put you in like a fucking casket. I don't know. Why would with you, like spiders? Like, I don't know. Why would anybody want to do that? So they torture you for like eight hours, like eight to 10 hours, like torture. Okay. Like, now that's not the one that I'm thinking. The of. video that I was seeing no, was like this guy. This. He was like, had this woman. He put like, like plastic wrap around her, or like, uh, masking tape or t- duct tape, like around her head. And there was like plastic wrap. And he was like pulling her mouth open. And like, she had like fucking like what looked like, oh, that was deodorant. And she had like fake blood on her, you know? And I was just like, oh, God. And he was, like, ripping the, the fucking tape off of her. Yeah, no. And, like, I people, mean, people I, like, pay money for it. And I know. No one, I, and I guess the story is is that no one has made it. They yeah, all tap out. I know. But I know, but that's just stupid. That's just torture. That's not scary. That's not like a haunted house. That's like being tortured. Torture. Kidnapped and tortured. Anybody yeah. who wants to, to do that is like, you know, something wrong with you. Would I mean, ever, would, would you do not it? Not a fucking chance. No, me neither. Not a chance. I, I don't mean, care. I mean, I mean, I don't even like the idea of the gym, the <laughs> the workout where they come and chase you around the Oh, the block. clowns come and chase yeah, you. Yeah, it's like, that's bullshit too. I mean, I, you know, don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to be terrorized ever. Yeah, that um, just, yeah, I mean, it just sounds that's fucking weird. miserable. No, this is different. This is actually a haunted house that you go to. And again, there's several, there's five or six different things that you have to, that you have to pass or check off or supply evidence of to make sure that you're in good mental and physical health. And then you're allowed to go in and they actually will pay you 20 grand if you make it through. But I don't think anybody's made it through. It's like they showed some pictures and the people don't make it through because it's scary or people don't make it through because it's scary. They're having to like, like Eat there's poop. like no, they're not no, they don't do that. But they but they show like coffins and you know, it's a scary stuff. I don't know. I don't know really what they do. We'll have to Would you do something like that? Would you do like a No. No. Like if it's not torture. Like no. you just have to like walk through a house. Listen, if the haunted house at Disneyland was more scary than it was, I probably wouldn't go on that either. <laughs> So, yeah, no, I'm not. So none of like the theme park, like the not scary farm. Never been. Halloween Horror Nights at Universal. Never been. No, never been. No interest. No interest. Okay. Uh, I know. If someone paid you, would you go? Um, Like if someone was like, hey, we'll give you a thousand dollars to go to not scary farm. No, I just don't. I don't enjoy being scared. I don't get a thrill from that. I don't know. You get a thrill from being scared? Kind of. Yeah, I don't. I I don't. I don't, I don't get a thrill from, from like 
speed, like, you know, like going really fast. Drugs? No. The movie with Keanu Reeves? No, is- stop it. No, just going really fast, like in a car or going on a roller coaster. I have that does that does not that does not give it to me. That doesn't do it for me. I don't get a thrill. I don't get a who that was so fun. I don't do that again. I'm not that type of person. So, all right. I guess I'm just a fuddy duddy. That's what that would be called. A fuddy duddy, or a duddy fuddy, or a duddy fuddy, or yeah, it's, you, can, <laughs> you can't really same. flip them too much no, more. You can't yeah. them, like like you can the skull cap, the caps, the coal scap, coal scap, coal scap. Yeah. Um, all right. So this Halloween coming up in two days, what will you do? What will you be doing? Nothing. That's it. Nothing. Oh, you well, have a job. I'll be, you have I'll a be job. working on. Yeah, I'll be working during the day doing my business, and um, then I'll come home and be tired at night. And Are you I'll, tapping on something? Yeah, don't tap on that. Um, seriously, you can hear that. I can hear that. Yeah, don't do that. You're um, literally tapping the the cushion. That the 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 the, the microphone the is on. um the vocal padding that the microphone sits the on the vocal padding <laughs> yeah that's a problem when we have guests they're gonna see how tacky the setup see, really they're is they're gonna see what the vocal padding really looks <laughs> they'll be like. like seriously like this is where you record yep this is our recording sure studio is. welcome to our studio this is baby our podcast studio where do you see it you'll fucking die um so no then that the Thursday night I'll do I'll just be home. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to get candy and, and pass it out? I or no? do have candy. I'm taking candy to my job, and I think what I'll do is um because there's 90 people there, and I bought like a 120 bag 20 piece bag of candy. So first time I've ever done this. I hope they give me a good tip. <laughs> hey, if you guys are listening, <laughs> give her a fucking good tip, huh? She bought some candy. Um. Throw an anyway, extra, throw an extra I just, hundo. I just thought I just thought it would be nice to you know to kind of go with the holiday. So what I'll do is probably take out ten or fifteen pieces when I get there and open the bag, and that'll be the candy that I give out here at night, which you know will be sufficient because, like I said, you know we might get one person, but probably not. When the people at your at the job when they come up and you give them a piece of candy, you're going to make them do a trick. No. Do you think that there's going to be any? Um, trickery not, no 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 at not at this party that you're that you're attending but just in general do you think that there'll be any my mom sandy costumes out there i don't think so that wouldn't that be great well we probably would have to create it somehow we wouldn't why would we we're not we don't have the dress up as that that's what we normally look like i know but we'd have to you know like make the plastic mask <laughs> no i'm saying like somebody could wear like your your schmarta my schmarta and a hoodie did you peter know? say anything about that he oh. said that it that schmarta 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 uh he peter did say that that the actual translation is um the skin between your anus oh, and stop your it. testicles what did he really say that's what he said come on that's what he said when he comes on you can ask him yeah, okay, we'll do that in front of his mom. She'll tell you too. I don't know, I don't know how cool his mom is. He said it's that or the secondary. Can I swear in front of his mom? Of course, yeah, you can say it. Give us a, give us one right now. No, I get weird about doing that in front of Me, people. With people. Well, you, you've heard it, so. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But I, you know, but I don't talk that way to people in general, so. Do you think anybody will be handing out, like any local people will be handing out shmartas, uh, shmarties? <laughs> smarties you could probably go over to the 99 cent store and pick up some smarties pick up a bag of smarties <laughs> smarties <laughs> it's, it's a good old smarties <laughs> yeah i'm sure okay so what else anything I don't know, I don't, else I, I think see, that's it. Ni- I, 90 day fiance is over and I don't know. We'll have to touch on it. Yeah, we can't really talk about that. It's I have uh, I have a uh, Halloween show that I partake not, in. Not impressed, but just to let you know. Too yeah, recently. I have a. If you guys are listening, I have a Halloween show that I partake in that happens. Uh, we have two more performances: Wednesday night and Thursday night at the Hermosa Saloon off of PCH. Um, it is called Dead Marionette Theater. Uh, you have not been to a show. No, because you do them at like 10 o'clock at night. We do. We play at 10. I've asked you to like... Do a daytime show. No, to 
have somebody film it for oh, me. Oh, and then you can just watch so it. So I don't have to go out of the house. <laughs> Perfect. I even have an old VCR if we need to put it on VCR. Yeah. VHS tape. Yeah, that's not. That's not. DVD. So we had that going on. Um, and then uh, I have a costume for work on Thursday. And then. Um, yes, he ought to look very cute. We'll post. We'll make a post. There you go. Post on it. Do you think that maybe you want to dress up just maybe for the? I'm going to dress up as a barista. Oh, on Halloween. Okay. Yeah. Grande caramel macchiato. Uh no, just I'll be the barista. I, I'm going to have like a white shirt and a an apron and maybe some black pants. <laughs> maybe a name tag that says Sandy on it. Um, do you wear a col a col scap when you do it or no? No, no, okay. It'll just be my hair pulled back because, you know, as a as a service, a food service person, you don't want your hair getting into people's food or their cappuccinos. <laughs> pull out, <laughs> pull out the hair. Pull out the hair. Pull out the hair. hair. Added added bonus: have a piece of candy and a hair. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of uh that's kind of like a spooky little thing finding some hair in your oh that's gross in your caramel macchiato <laughs> Ugh, do you gross. make caramel macchiatos no no not like starbucks does okay make a caramel latte and a caramel cappuccino for everyone that doesn't know my mom sandy has a coffee business we'll get into that in a later episode it's called fantastic cappuccino why don't you go to this party as shoshana no, it's a corporate thing. Oh, it's a business thing. They wouldn't like that. No, I'm, and on top of that, I'm sure none of them have ever, nor will ever, listen to the podcast. Oh, I asked you the other night. Are you going to put a sign on your card that says, "Have you asked me about my podcast?" No, or and I, uh, or and at, I said no, or just do a at my mom Sandy podcast sticker on the front of your card. And I said no. Hmm. Do the people at your pharmacy listen? I don't think so. Hmm. Full of shit. I know. Well, whatever. And people have busy lives. I know it's a little it's a little depressing when you tell me people are like backed up and I think some weeks it's so fucking hard for us to get together to do this. I just feel like taking a week off and posting something that says Here's your extra week to catch up. You guys, We're taking a fucking week you off. You guys take the next couple of weeks. You guys listen and catch up, and really? we'll join you again at the at the end I of the, the end of the year. It's like, does anybody really listen? I mean, I swear to God, we were supposed to do this on Sunday, and we we're supposed to do it yesterday. And today's not a good day for me either. But you, but you know, look great, though. Here we are. You look great. I look great. You look very nice. Yeah. All right. I still have to take a shower. Oh. And get the heck out of here. Okay. Anyway, so anything else? That's all I got. Um, I'm excited for Halloween. Excited that the weather is cool this week because it was 100 degrees last week. Yeah. It was miserable. Yeah. Um, but it's actually, there's leaves on the ground. It feels like. I know, which by the way, you know, I washed my car yesterday. You want to, at some point, maybe sweep the leaves out of the garage. Oh, I didn't see any. I just saw them in the driveway. Well, in the driveway gets blowed into the garage with a leaf blower. Funny how that works. No, just by the wind. Okay. We're you know we're we don't usually have leaves, but we have them now because it's the fall. Well, and it's because it's been windy with Santa Ana's. Mm. Okay. I know. I'm wondering if Sam has electricity up north. Sam, shoot us an email. My mom Sandy podcast at Gmail. Let us know if you have, or just call us. You could just call us. And by the time she hears us, <laughs> it'll be several weeks past probably. All right. Well, that's all I got. Um, I want to say got. I want to say Happy Halloween to everyone. Uh, have fun. Be, be safe, safe out there. Be safe out there. Don't be drinking and driving at um, your parties. Send us some photos of if you guys dress up. Send us some photos. We're excited to yeah. see them. And you know, we're still looking for five star reviews. We're still looking for five star reviews. And any comments that you might have about the um, podcast. So you're doing it. You're doing a lot oh, of I'm tapping. Sorry. And um, and right, if you, right on the vocal padding. I'm sorry. And if you go to a foreign country, for sure, listen to us. <laughs> and if you guys have ghost stories, send those in. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I think we're, we're going to aim for episode 20 to do a live episode. So just get ready. Episode 20, um, we'll do a live episode probably on a, on a Sunday uh, or a Monday. Sandy Sundays? That sounds fun. Maybe. Sunday, Sunday? Yeah, uh, maybe. That could be fun. Um, and then you guys can call in or... Don't call in, and then it's really. And we'll just. Say I that. know. How do we kill the time if nobody calls in? 
I don't know. You know, a lot of people have families that they spend time with on Sundays. And then, you know, Mondays, of course, people work. Unless well, I was going like, to say like a Monday evening or like a Sunday midday. Like, yes. a, like a happy, like a like a Sunday fun day kind of thing. Sandy Sunday fun day. Su- Sunday, Sunday, yeah, fun th- day. I don't think that's a good idea, but. You think a Monday night's better? I think I'm evening probably, yeah. But, you know, again, it's family time. You got kids. You yeah, don't wanna... Sunday could be better. Maybe a, maybe a Sunday evening. All right, well, whatever. Maybe, right, well, yeah, maybe well, yeah. we just won't even yeah. do it. Yeah, fuck the live episode, huh? Sounds, yeah. sounds, sounds, sounds like a real hassle. This is a real shit idea. <laughs> I mean, it's already tough, tough enough to find time to do this, you know? Sorry. Well, it's not your fault. Not everyone is so blessed to have a famous podcast, you know? I guess not. Too bad we're not a little bit more famous. Anyway. Rome Rome wasn't built in a day. Tell your friends. Yeah, everyone tell My your, mom Sandy. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Maybe we'll do a we'll do a, a giveaway. Or if they have the like they have the post something and tag us and then we'll and then if they and then we'll pick one person at the end of the month and they'll get a schmarta from you. A signed schmata. <laughs> a shmata. A signed schmata. Which is a little package of smarties signed. <laughs> Would, it, would I sign my mom Sandy? <laughs> oh, you sign however. Yeah, whatever. If that's your signature. Josh and my mom Sandy, yeah. your hosts. Your hosts. All right. All right. All right so you guys have a yeah. good. You guys have a good Halloween. People um, are probably bored. Let's no, sign off. No. no. Uh, Instagram, my mom at my mom Sandy podcast. Uh, each, drop us an email. My mom Sandy podcast at gmail dot com. We're looking for all the good five star ratings. And I am checking out Instagram every day. Reviews. And, again, and so. she's going on Instagram. So if you guys want to start. I haven't posted anything. And on top of that, I don't still really don't know how it works. But <laughs> she, she doesn't. But I can look at pictures and shit. So she doesn't quite know where what the buttons do. But if you guys want to shoot her a message, she's now I know up home, and running. But I know. Uh, anyway. Yeah. OK. Um, very good that's all we got all right very good till next week all right very good